today I'm doing a watercolor painting of Summer from Rick and Morty. The video is starting off a bit into the sketch already because one, I had sketched so lightly that there wasn't much to see at first, and two, I had actually already drawn Summer's whole body in a different pose, but I didn't like it. So I erased it all and redid it. This whole process extended the video by a whole minute pretty unnecessarily, so I just cut it out. I did my sketch lines with Crayola pencil crayons, with the plan to add watercolor painting over top the lines, and then to come in with black ink at the very end to finish up. I used a cheap set of praying watercolor paints. I don't intend to sell this or anything, so I'm not too concerned about using super expensive watercolors that are going to last. Like my other watercolor paintings, this has just been dipping my toe into the medium and learning how to use it and having fun. Also, please ignore any clicking you're hearing. It is my dog walking around the kitchen waiting for me to finish recording this. I am bringing her to get her nails done tomorrow, so there will hopefully be no click click clicks of my next week's video. The parts of the video where I fill in the sky and the ground are both sped up. I did take a little while to fill in those areas because I was trying to be careful not to go over the lines of my line art, but it also didn't make for very interesting footage to watch me very slowly color in the areas. And don't get me wrong, I didn't go that slowly. One of the things I'm finding about watercolor is you do need to work quickly. You want to get done what you want to get done before it dries too much. I feel like part of the journey of learning watercolor is getting experience with it so that you can learn how the watercolor interacts with each other when you layer it over itself at different stages of dryness. Like so far I've already figured out if I want a very dark overlay with sharp lines I should wait for my first layer to dry completely before I add a new layer. Whereas if I want the colors to bleed together it's much better to work wet on wet. And I'm sure this might be obvious to a lot of you, but I don't have that much experience in watercolor, so it has been a fun journey of learning for me. The alien monster in this drawing should be very familiar to Rick and Morty fans. If you Google Rick Morty alien, a picture will pop up of Rick and Morty with this alien with pretty much the same background. Really, besides Summer, I almost consider everything else a redraw because this whole art piece was more about me playing with watercolor and figuring out what I was doing rather than trying to create a piece of art that would blow my mind. I guess I could have popped in Rick and Morty like they are in the original drawing, but I wanted to draw Summer a lot more than I wanted to draw Rick and Morty. When I made this painting, I had just watched all of Rick and Morty season one to three for the first time and I have to admit, I am utterly charmed by Summer. She's one of the funniest characters in the show to me and one of the coolest. I love how in her first appearances, she was just so normal, a very typical teenage girl with her nose stuck in her phone. And as the series progresses and as she gets more experience, she evolved into this really strong, clever, competent character that really seems to get Rick in a way Morty and Beth can't. And you know, not that I'm saying Morty isn't smart. I feel like Morty gets Rick in a way Summer can't too. I feel like Rick's relationships with each of his grandchildren are pretty special. Summer delights me because she still manages to keep pieces of herself as her crazy experiences causes her to evolve and change as a character. Like yeah, she can kick ass and kill people in alternate universes and figure out how to get them out of trouble. But she's also not above having her nose in her phone and caring about being popular and worrying if the guy she likes likes her. This made me really happy because I hate when a show paints that being a normal teenage girl means you're an airhead with no depth. And the moment that a girl evolves into a stronger character, she seems to give up the things she likes. Like, screw that. Part of Summer is her shallowness. She's still funny and awesome and strong. It's just that to be Summer, she has to be self-obsessed too. That's how it is. 
I made the decision to use Copic markers to color Summer's skin because I just like how it looks. I didn't think I could achieve the same look with watercolor just yet. And I'd put so much time into the background in the alien, I just wanted to color her skin in a way that I knew would work out. I used Sakura Pigma Micron pens and a Copic Multiliner pen to do the inking. I wanted to try and reflect the thin lines of the show, which now that all is said and done, feels a little boring to me. I kind of want to redraw this with Summer in a more interesting pose and redraw the alien more in my own style with a little more variety in the lines. I used a green Crayola pencil to outline the goo that's stripping from the monster's mouth. I wanted to keep the black outlines for the alien and Summer in the foreground to draw attention to them. I felt like outlining the green goo would make it look too separate from the alien. I was happy with how it looked using green as the outline instead of black. Also, there's a part here where the line art for the gun just magically pops into existence. Sorry, my camera had cut off and I didn't notice. I used Copic markers to color Summer's gun because I wanted to achieve straight mechanical lines in the shading. Well, straight for me. I didn't think I could accomplish that with watercolor just yet. In the end, I came in with a white gel pen to add some highlights on the teeth and in Summer's hair and her clothes. Just to add a little extra shininess, I was happy with how it turned out. And then I got rid of the green tape and here's my final. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also feel free to check out my other watercolor video where I made Ponyo by the Sea fan art, or the video where I did a tutorial on how to color alien skin tones with Copic markers. Thanks for watching!